Hello everyone. Now in this segment we will see characteristics of logic families. So we have several characteristics that can be you know optimized for bipolar logic family or it may be useful for unipolar logic family. So let's start with the first one. It's nothing but threshold voltage. Now how can you define it? The voltage at the input of a gate which causes a change in the output state from one logic level to another logic level is called threshold voltage okay what is it the voltage applied at the input of a gate that causes output state to change from one logic level to other logic level is called as threshold voltage now if you consider the logic level considerations we can have a structure like this either from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 so the voltage which we are applying at the input which causes the output if we consider this as output there is a change from low level to high level and there is a change from 1 to 0 that is high to low level so this voltage is called threshold voltage one can be this may be VHL or it may be VLH high to low voltage or low to high voltage now based on that we will go for the second and the four, four most important characteristics which we call it as propagation delay. How can you define it? It is defined as the average delay time required for the signal to propagate input to the output is called propagation delay. That means the average amount of time taken by a signal to reach the output from input is called as the propagation delay. Generally propagation delay how indicate karte hai by a term called as TP which is called as a propagation delay propagation delay ko explain karne ke liye we have taken a schematic over here this is our input signal or ye wala hai our output signal let's suppose we are using an inverter yani ki hum kuch not gate ka use kar rahe hai it is treated like this let this is our input and ye wala hum consider karenge output to dekhiye Whenever I am applying the input at this side, I will be getting inverted output, but it takes certain amount of time, and that delay is nothing but what propagation delay. So, we will fetch this in which way? So, here I have drawn the input signal with voltage. This is logic zero. This is logic one, or here fifty percent. And this is how our input pulse is applied. We can write this as input pulse now when it is applied across this inverter okay, it may get some delay so we will getting the output like this one you can see this is somewhat delayed and it is inverted also so whenever we are having logic 0 it's getting 1 and whenever we are having logic 1 it is getting 0 but if you see output is a shifted version of the input signal अब इससे हमें फेच करना है what will be our propagation delay so propagation delay is basically an average of TPLH with TPHL अब ये LH क्या होता है so TPLH is nothing but the average time taken by output to go from 0 to 1 यानि 0 to 1 switch करने के लिए how much time it is taking similarly TPHL is nothing but the average time when output goes from high to low तो इसका हम कहते हैं TPHL अब हम determine करेंगे TPHL and TPLH so let's start with this one अब देखिए इस वाले में 50% का जो term है उसको हम fetch out करेंगे like this one और जो output है वो 50% में कहा जा रहा है तो देखिए ये दो term है एक तो input का 50% का term लिया है और एक लिया है output का और ये वाला जो term है that is between Input and output is called as TPHL. Why it is called as TPHL? Because it is switching from high to low. So this is TPHL. Similarly, if we talk about low to high transition ka output, ke liye low to high transition. Ka. So in that case also, first we will take the 50% line from input. Similarly, 50% line of output जहाँ पर वो switch हो रहा है तो ये दो terms है so this duration 
will be called as TPLH that is the propagation time to switch from low to high and this is from high to low and if we take its average divide by 2 we will be getting the propagation delay generally your propagation delay hota hai, it is always expressed in nanosecond बहुत बार आपने ऑब्जर्व भी किया होगा इन केस ऑफ वीएचटीएल हम जब लिखते हैं ए एक्स और बी आफ्टर 5 नैनो सेकंड और आफ्टर 10 नैनो सेकंड सो आफ्टर के बाद का जो क्लॉज होता है उसको हम कहते हैं प्रोपगेशन डिले किस तरह से ऑप्टेन किया है इट इज एवरेज ऑफ लो टू हाई पीरियड हाई टू लो पीरियड दैट विल बी आवर प्रोपगेशन डिले तो ये हो गया हमारा सेकंड इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स अब इसमें एक इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट है propagation delay should be as low as possible so whenever we are designing any circuitry so the propagation delay should be as low as possible these are the characteristics regarding with propagation delay now let's come across the next characteristics which is again quite interesting it is called it as fan in how can you define it the definition is the number of inputs that can be applied to a gate is called as fan it that means gate ke across hum jitne bhi input supply kar sakte hai usko hum kahenge fan in for example let's suppose i have an and gate to which we are connecting three inputs and let this is our output so we have connected three inputs that means fan in of this gate will be three so it can satisfactorily handle three inputs so we are having uh, two input and gates three input and gates so they are nothing but they are fan in so counterpart fan out how can you define it's it could be the reverse the number of loads that the output of a gate can drive is called as fan out that means the output can drive how many loads that scenario is called as the fan out अब इसको हम किस तरह से इनरेट कर सकते हैं सो लेट अस कंसीडर वी हैव एन एंड गेट जनरली हम नैंड और नोर यूज करेंगे क्योंकि दे आर नथिंग बट अ पार्ट ऑफ यूनिवर्सल गेट एंड टू दिस वी हैव कनेक्टिंग टू इनपुट्स लेट ए बी सो दिस विल बी आर आउटपुट एंड दिस आउटपुट कैन हैंडल द लोड Let's suppose it is handling the first NAND gate. Again, it is handling the second NAND gate, and so on. If I consider, it is handling a number of loads. So I written dash dash dash. So here, for the current, jata hai. First of all, isko hum likhenge I I E H. Yani ki input high current. Is all ko bhi hum likhenge I I H. This is also I I. H. ये तो हो गया है एक इनपुट इस नैन गेट के अक्रॉस सिमिलरली वी कैन हैव सेकंड इनपुट आल्सो फ्रॉम दिस तो ये जो टर्म है ये तो आउटपुट का है तो इसको हम लिखेंगे आई ओ एच दैट इज हाई आउटपुट करंट और ये हाई आउटपुट करंट जो है वो हैंडल करेगा अक्रॉस दिस वन एज ए इनपुट तो फैन आउट का दो स्टेट्स हो सकते हैं एक तो फैन आउट इट मे बी हाई यानी कि वन हो सकता है हाई स्टेट या फिर वो लो भी हो सकता है सो so, ये जो सीन है ये है फैन आउट वेन इट इज़ हाई देखिए आउटपुट हाई है एंड इट इज़ ड्राइविंग दिस पर्टिकुलर लोड्स तो इसको हम डिटरमाइन करेंगे हाई स्टेट फैन आउट हाई स्टेट फैन आउट इज नथिंग बट रेशो ऑफ हाई आउटपुट करंट मैक्सिमम डिपेंडेड बाई हाई इनपुट करंट ये वाला जो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हो रहा है सो इट इज रेशो ऑफ हाई आउटपुट करंट बाई हाई इनपुट करंट सो इस भी आप पे हम डिटरमाइन करेंगे फैन आउट वेन इट इज इन हाई स्टेट काउंटर पार्ट वेन इट इज इन लो स्टेट सो इन केस ऑफ लो स्टेट विच विल कंसिडर वन मोर टाइम वे आर हैविंग एन एंड एंड गेट विथ टू इनपुट्स and let's suppose our output is low so we'll be writing i o l that is low output current and again 
it is driving this is the first NAND gate let's suppose it is driving the second NAND gate and so on up to the last so these currents will be IIL IIL or ye wala bhi hai IIL so is wali scene ko hum kahenge low state that is nothing but when we are getting a low current a logical level ka current agar hum kahenge so we can write in this case fan out may be low logic 1 to isko hum likhenge low state fan out is equal to we have that ratio i o l maximum that is low output current max divided by high i shell so this will be a formula for low state fan out or ye a jayega high state fan out and one more interesting thing is that fan out should be as high as possible okay it drives maximum it should drive maximum number of load without disturbing our system to is wajah se fan out jo hota hai wo as maximum as ho sakta hai so this is about the first four characteristics fan in fan out propagation delay and threshold voltage in next segment we will see noise margin and uh, power dissipation and other characteristics thank you